optimization today. Okay, so we're going to continue optimization. So we're going to look at another example here, and then uh, and then will be high time for you to start trying some of this yourself. Okay, so let's say that we need to make, let's say that an open topped box just adjusting attendance. Okay, an open topped box. is made by cutting corners out of a sheet of cardboard Holding up the sides. Or by, I should say that we're cutting square. Or is that a cardboard? How long will the square corner cuts need to be? To maximize volume. Okay. So whenever you're given a problem, it's oh, you should always, always, always draw the situation. So we're going to start just by drawing out the situation. And uh, on another whiteboard, we'll actually work out the math. OK. So, so we're going to make a box by taking a sheet of cardboard oh I forgot to give the uh, I'm going to have to get the area of the cardboard
20, 25 inches. There we go. Okay, so we have a sheet of cardboard, 25 inches long and 20 inches wide. And we're going to cut some corners out of the side, some, uh, cut some square corners out, and some cut squares out of the corners. And that will leave us with some flappies. That we can fold up. Twenty inches. This is twenty five inches. And when we fold it up, we're going to have enough. Okay, does the situation make sense? Okay. So now we can follow our strategy and try to understand the situation. So first, what are we trying to find here? Well, we want to maximize volume, which means we need a formula to describe the volume of the box. Now we want to describe the volume of the box. We want to know how long the cuts need to be. Now that tells us that we need a variable to describe the length of each of these cuts. Okay. We'll go ahead and say X. Now, now how does, so we want to maximize volume. Uh, what's the, what is the volume of a rectangular prism? You even know the volume of a box? Formula for volume of a box? The volume of a box is its length times its width times its height. Okay. Length. Width. Height. Okay. 
So what we need to do is we need to figure out how we can write the, write the volume of this, how we can write the volume in terms of the lengths of the cuts. Well, so let's think about how we can take what we know and how we can, or take these things that we need to find, the length, the height, and the width, and let's describe them using X. Well, the height is pretty easy. When we fold up the sides, when we fold up this side, the length of the cut, that'll tell us how tall it is. So our H is equal to the length of the cuts. That's easy. What about how long, how long will our box be? Well, our original sheet of cardboard was 25 inches, but two X's were cut out from each side there. So this length is going to be 25 minus the cut taken from each side. The width is going to be similar here. We have 20 inches of width, and two x's are being cut out of it. So our width is going to be 20 minus 2x. OK, does this make sense so far? Now that means that this thing we're trying to maximize here, the volume, is really going to be 25 minus 2x times 20 minus 2x times the height. And now that we have a formula, we can look for extrema using the second variable. Okay, will anyone yell at me if I take this away? Or does anyone have any questions about, what, about how we've got this so far? Okay, so now let's go ahead and calculus at this thing. Let's find And let's go ahead and find the value for x that gives okay. okay, so we know The volume is 25 minus 2x times 20 minus 2x times x. Okay. 
Now, we could take the derivative of this right now, but it would have to be some kind of like horrible product rule where you, yeah, or your u, one of your, you could do like, this is your u and all of this stuff is your v, but then you have to do a product of your u and it's just gonna be a mess. It's much easier for us to just foil this sucker out and just leave us in the polynomial. Okay. So 25 times 20, that's 500 minus 50x minus 40x. Plus uh, two times two x times two x is four x. All right, four times x, uh, negative fifty minus forty. That's negative ninety. Distribute the x in there. And we have five hundred x minus ninety x squared. Negative forty fifty minus forty. Negative 90, negative 90x times x is x squared. Okay, and finally, plus 4x. Okay, this is a lot easier for us to use the second derivative. So let's find our first and second derivatives. So our first derivative here will be 500 minus 180x plus 12x squared. Second derivative is negative 180 plus 24x. Okay, so we need to find when v prime is equal to zero. Well, v prime is a quadratic, which makes our life a little bit easier. I'm gonna re I'm gonna reorder these a little bit, and we get zero equals twelve x squared minus one eighty x plus five hundred. Okay, well, this is a quadratic. Which means that we can use the quadratic formula. Now, before we do, we can simplify this a little bit, divide both sides by four. And we get 12 divided by 4 is 3x squared. One eighty divided by 4 is 45x. 500 divided by 4 is 125. Okay. So this is a quadratic, so we can use the quadratic formula x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. You should be familiar with this thing by now. Okay, our b is negative 45, so we have here a positive 45 plus or minus 45 squared minus 4 times 3 times 125 all over 2 times 3. All right, now we can break out the old calculator, you know. Okay, so what is the square root of 45 squared? 
let's see, 45 squared is 2025. 4 times 3 times 125 is 1500. 2025 minus 1500 is 525. Square root of that is 20. Stop. So we end up with. So x is equal to 45 plus or minus 22.9 all over 6. So x comes out, let's see, 45 plus 22 point stuff all over 6. That comes out to 11.31. And let's see, minus 22.9 all over 6 and 3.68. OK, so those are the cuts. That give us maxima and minima. So now something that is a little bit weird here is that one of these cuts is impossible. 11.31 can't be done. Let's take a look at our diagram here. We have, if we make a cut 11 point something inches wide, or like the absolute maximum length for a cut would be 10 inches, because that's the amount that it would take for me to go from here to the center. If I did 11.25, then, then the cuts would like overlap themselves. So this 11.31 is impossible. OK, so now we just need to make sure that this is a maximum. So we plug x equals 3.68 v prime to determine or to be double prime to determine if it is a max or a min. Easy enough. OK. So v double prime is negative 180 plus 24 times 3.68. Let's see. 24 times 3.68. OK. Why did this up nice second derivative here? Oh. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. So 24 times, I, I got, I confused myself for a moment. 24 times 3.68 is 88 plus this negative 180. Tracking 180. That gave me negative point, negative uh, 91.68. So this is less than zero. Since it's less than zero, we're concave down, which means we have a maximum. So volume 
is maximized. So the answer is that volume is maximized when the cuts which were x are 3.68 inches long. All right. So we took a real life system. We determined a formula that described it using only one variable. We used that formula, we found the first derivative and solved it for zero to find places where it could be maximum, maxima or minima. And we tested those to determine which of those actually was a maximum. We found it. Okay, so does anyone have any questions about this process? Okay, so now it is time for you to try this yourself. Now we don't really have time for me to give you a problem and go through it together. So I'm going to give you guys, I'm gonna give you guys a problem. I'm gonna give you guys a problem in, um, uh, I'm gonna give you a problem in Canvas. It'll be your check for understanding for today. And then I'll let you work on it this afternoon. And tomorrow we'll check your work before we move on to before we does that sound good? Okay. So we'll go ahead and stop there. Keep an eye open for the check for understanding. Work on that this afternoon and come back and we'll discuss, we'll discuss the work. Sound good? Okay, so uh, between, so I have nothing more for you between now and lunch. So you guys have a good day. I will see you tomorrow when we'll see you tomorrow when we'll continue optimization. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.